my brothers and sisters in the Lord. Good morning. How is everybody doing out there? want to welcome you to our broadcast here at Mount Olive this morning. I know that God is a marvelous and a wonderful God. God is a good God. God has blessed us. And God is just holding us in his care. I want you to look for God to do a blessed thing in your life today. I'm in the fold looking for God to do something new in their life. I'm in the fold looking for God to turn some things around. My, my God. God is looking for some people that are expecting God to do, to make a move in their lives. Amen. And so, and when we have an expectation of God, God will move in mighty ways. Want to just, just welcome you to our broadcast this morning as we open up. Let's come on, give God a just, just praise together. Glory to God in the name of Jesus. Somebody tell him, thank you. Glory, hallelujah, bless your name, God. Glory to God in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessing and honor belong to you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. We're so good, just so glad to just be in the house of the Lord, uh, even in our house. Amen. And so and I'm, I'm hoping now that by now everybody has turned your house into a house of God. My, my God. A place where the presence of God can abide and God will dwell. Amen. As we open our service up this morning, let's open up with a word of prayer. Let us bow our heads uh, this morning in prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we come to say thank you that you are God Almighty. And Lord, we come now, oh God, to bless in the name of Jesus. We come, oh God, to worship you in spirit and in truth. And we ask, oh God, that you would move everything that followed us here that's not of you, God. Everything that rises up in us, oh God, that would hinder your presence, God. Everything that would hinder move of God, we rebuke in the name of Jesus. And Father God, we come now, Lord, to release the spirit of your love into the lives of your people. And Father God, we ask that you bless the day with whatever we stand in need of. We come, oh God, to release your anointing in the homes of your children, God. In the release in marriages, oh God, in friends, oh God. We pray, God, that you bless and anoint us this day, God, and give us what we stand in need of. Father God, we come to rise up in the spirit of your love, God. Yes. We come, oh God, to invoke the power of your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, move in our heart. Holy Spirit, move in our family. We come, oh God, to release healing, God, everywhere that is needed, God. We come, oh God, to stir up your anointing, oh God, and break every yoke of hindrance, oh God. In the name of Jesus, uh, we come, oh God, to, to, to ignite your spirit, uh, the, the spirit of fire within us, God, to burn up everything that's not of you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, uh, we come against division. We come against hatred. Uh, uh, we come against racial separation, God. We come against prejudice, God. In the name of Jesus, uh, and Father God, we come to lift up love, and we lift up unity, and we lift up power in Jesus. Uh, we lift up healing, God, in the name of Jesus. Uh, and my God, we declare today, God, that somebody will be blessed, God. We declare today, God, that healing will come forth. We declare today, God, a breakthrough in families. We declare today, God, a turnaround for your children. We declare today, God, power in the house of God. We declare today the blessedness of your presence. Yes. And we release, God, Thank you, God, the power of your anointing, the power of the shed blood, Jesus. the power of Jesus, yes. and the lives of your people. Lord, in, Jesus. Jesus' in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let the church say amen again. This time we will have our scripture reading. Our scripture reading, reading has been selected from Psalms 91. Psalms 91, Old Testament scripture, Psalms 91. Uh, and it reads, uh, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him, I will trust. Surely he shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers 
and under his wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and your buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, not an arrow that flies by day, not a pestilence that walks in darkness, not the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side and 10,000 at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the most high, your habitation. No evil shall befall you. No may come near you, or near your dwelling, for you shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all ways. They shall bear you up in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. And thus, thus is the reading of the word of God from Psalms 91, verse 1 through 16, the entirety of that song. May God bless the readers and hearers of his most holy and blessed word. Amen. We're so thankful for the blessings of God that God has blessed us in his presence. In just a minute, we're going to uh, be giving of our worship through giving. If you would start preparing now for you for the worship through giving as we prepare to give to our God. Remember, God has given us everything that we have. And he's been really good to us, even in the midst of the pandemic. Uh, we've seen a lot of stuff. We've gone through a lot. But we realize that God is on our side. God is blessing us and God is keeping us. And God has more blessings in store for us. And this time, if you would just uh, get your gifts that you're going to give to the Lord. Uh, remember that you can give through Giveify, uh, the Giveify app. Or you can go to our website and give, or you can send it in the mail to 2525 West Church Street, Orlando, Florida, 32805. Uh, or you can drive by if you're near the church, drive by somebody to be there to take your gifts for the Lord. Wanna just be wanna just, just just be thankful to the Lord and thank all of those people for your faithfulness and giving to the ministry. Uh, just want to acknowledge the goodness of the Lord in your life to give into the ministry so that the work of the Lord can go forth and continue uh, to bless God's people. Amen. And so those who have your gifts, if you would hold them up before the Lord. And now together, if you would do, God, this is my gift. God, this is my gift. It is a seed. It is a seed. And I plant it in this ministry. I plant it in this ministry. I'm expecting a harvest in this ministry, in this ministry and, in my life. and in my life. I'm expecting it to be, I'm expecting it to be exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly, abundantly above, above all that I ask, all that I, all that I think, all that I think all that I and all that I imagine. All that I imagine. Lord, I thank you Lord, I thank that I'm able to give, able to give in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. I'll put your hand together and bless the Lord. Amen. And we know that all things that we have come of God and only a portion of what he has given us uh, do we give back to him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, uh, Brother uh, Elto is going to come forth in just a minute and lead us in a, a song of praise. Amen. Ask that you would just open up your spirit of praise that the blessedness of the Lord uh, will come forth and right after Brother Elto, uh, give you a song of praise. Uh, the Reverend Juanita Crutcher will come forth and render a word from the Lord for us this morning. Amen. Uh, praise be to the Lord. So we're just thankful for the blessings of the Lord in the land of the living. So I want you to get ready, get ready, get ready for a word from the Lord. 
Get ready, get ready, get ready for an anointing of the Lord. Get ready, get ready for a blessing from our God. Get ready, get ready for an answer to your question. Get ready, get ready for the presence of our God. Amen. Somebody come on and give God some praise in the house. Thank you. In the name of Jesus. Ah, and we thank and praise God for Brother Elta that's coming forward now, Brother Elta. Amen. Some reason, brother, out there, we can't hear you. See you, but we can't hear you. I'm trying to figure out what it is. Okay. some reason, Brother Alto, we just can't hear you here. We can see you, see you real well. He's going back and coming. Just give him a moment. He's going back and coming back in. Amen for the praises of the Lord. No, I still don't hear you. For some reason, we still don't hear you. We can see you, but we can't hear you at all. Yeah. Mm. What it is, but for some reason, we're, we can't hear you. We can see you, but we can't hear you.
he shall cover thee with his cup, and under his wings shall thy foot. His truth shall be thy shield and book. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror of thy God, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in dark, nor for the destruction that wasted in me. If thou shalt fall at thy side, ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not call thy feet. My subject this morning is stay up. Stay up the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Well, many of us are familiar with this song, Psalm 91, the song of truth and obedience. It's a song for the presence and the protection and the promises of God. Amen. Many of us quote this uh, scripture when we're going through trying times when fear tries to overtake us. And it reminds us of how God is our protector. What does it mean to be under the shadow? You know, talk about what does it mean to be under the shadow? You know, if we hear under something, that means that we're under their guidance. We are under their supervision. We look to them for direction. Amen. And if, if we can be able to stay under the shadow of the Almighty, we should be looking to God for our God. We should be looking to God for direction. Um, the, the song is saying, I will look to the hills from which come my help because all of my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Uh, we're not looking to some to supply our needs. We're looking to God because we know that God has everything that we need. And so we, we, we what we're in the summer said we need to dwell on the beach. We don't need to move out of place. You know, so many times we like to get out of place. We like to do our own thing. But we need to stay right there. And we dwell in that secret place. Then we're going to be under the shadow of the Almighty. I don't know about you, know, but uh, we're trying to stay in some kind of physical condition, so we can walk in every morning. And as we're walking, you know, we're walking along, and the sun is out, and, and it's bright. And, and you know, when that sun starts beating down on you, you be looking for a, a shade of fog. And many times while we're walking, we come up this so far. I like to get in his shadow. Glory to God. And you know, his shadow extends out. And even though the sun is bearing down on us in the heat of the day, whenever I get in his shadow, I can feel a little protection. I can feel a little cooling, even in the midst of that storm. And then, yeah, no other provides you. Glory to God. You know, when you get in that shade, that cover, that shade, you go know, under, under that when you're in that shadow of the tree, you know, you can feel a little cool breeze sometimes. Amen, amen. But that's how it is. You know, in this world, you know, we are out there and we're toiling and we're working. And you know, sometimes we need to get up the shadow of the feel the presence of the Lord to hide the security because sometimes we can feel it. It's just too much for us. Under the shadow of the of the Lord. That means that God surrounds us. He protects us and he keeps us under his divine cloak, under his love. Uh, when, when we're under the shadow of the Almighty, that means that we must stay in a state of constant communion with the Lord. You know, and in order to have that perfect peace, we got to talk to the Lord. You know, we we, we not only do we have to talk to him, we got to listen as, as he talks to us. And, and you know, it's that communion is when you're, when you're going back and forth. You know, you, you, God is hearing you and you're hearing from God. Amen. There's three things I want to look at this morning that we can expect when we're staying under the shadow of the Almighty. Uh, the first thing is we can to experience the burden of his presence. Experience
bears the burden of his presence. The second thing we can expect to experience the benefit of his protection. The benefits of his protection. And the third thing we can expect to experience the blessing of his promise. The blessing of his promise. But let, let's talk a little bit about the burden of his presence. You know, many Christians want the benefits and the blessing, but they don't want to experience the burden. Amen. Nobody wants to be, as they say, burdened down. But in order to receive the benefit and the blessing, we got to be willing to bear the burden. You know, the songwriter said, Must Jesus bear the cross alone and all the world go free? Then he answers the question. He said, No, there's a cross for everyone, and there's a cross for me. But there's a cross for all. Amen. There's a burden that we there's some things that we all are going through on this Christian journey. So we have to remind ourselves that even though we got some burdens to bear, that we are not alone. And that's why we got to stay in that secret place. That's why we got to stay out of the shadow of the Almighty. Because if we try to go alone, Stay under the shadow of all the heat of our soul or burn us to it, and we can go through some things, and we can go through some things that, that that's causing other people to fall apart. But we find ourselves being able to just stay, and we find ourselves, okay, you know, as the sun has come and gone, we're still able to stay, but you know. What is this burden of, of, of the presence? It's the judgment of God. My God, my God. Anytime you get into the presence of the Lord, hallelujah, you got to come up to judgment. Glory to God. Many of us, we keep the power. I don't know about you. Stop judging me. Hallelujah. But you know what? It's something about you get into the presence of the Lord. God begins to judge. And you know what? You know what? Sometimes we can hide ourselves from somebody else, but you know what? When we God sees, He knows the heart of about people, the things that He knows the thought and intent of our heart. Glory to God. And so God begins to show us the intent. And you know what? We, 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 some of us, we, we, we see, you know, that. But then God reminds us. God reminds me all the time. You know what? Need us get it together. Hallelujah. You know, you ain't got that. You thank you, God. Like, that's the whole work to do. Glory to God. It reveals who we really are. And that's what we want to know because we want God to reveal to us so we can get it. Amen. And that's the burden of the present. It's a burden to be different. A burden to acknowledge that we don't always have it together. It's a burden to acknowledge that we need God. How do you? See, we are, we are Christians. We are chosen people. God chose us. We are chosen to the right. We are people who belong to God. We don't belong to ourselves. First Corinthians 6 and 20 said we were bought with the price. You know, we don't we don't pay for it. Glory to God. You know. They don't know who he is. Although who told us that God gave this word, I bought you. I bought you back because you were lost. I sent my son Jesus Christ to die on this cross for you. My son Jesus shared his precious blood. He paid the price for you. So, so we need to remind ourselves that, that we, we were made to glorify. We were made to glorify God in our body, hallelujah, in our spirit, because we belong to God. And so we can't just do anything. We got to be different. And so it's a burden 
to be different. It's a burden to think differently. It's a burden to act differently. We don't act like the world. We act like children of God. Therefore, we talk about the things of God. Conversation is different. As Paul states in Philippians 4 and 8, we need to think about what is true, what is wrong, what is of a good report. In other words, think about the best, not the first. Think about what's beautiful, not the ugly. Think about things that great and not things that can be a curse. You know, if, if, you know, we begin to talk about all these things in the world, but you know, when we begin to talk about the things of God, it begins to lift the burden. Um, the burden. And, and, and another burden is to spend time in communion with God. You know, you have to, because our flesh want to do whatever it wants to do. But it's a burden to spend time in prayer, just to go before the Lord and, and just to shut everything down from him and to pray. Jesus taught us this by example. And Matthew 14, like he said, this is the crowd he went up on the mountain by himself. He was a mom. He went up there to pray. And it says that he went into that secret place. He communed with God. He sent the disciples away. He said, hey, all the distractions away. He said, I just need to spend some time with my And that's what we must do. First of all, we just have to get away from everybody. I don't want to be harder. I just need to spend some alone time with my Hallelujah. And then, it's the burden to live a life in obedience to the will of God. See, when you get into the presence of God, hallelujah, you begin to want to do God's will. You begin to seek God even more. You begin to look at you, you know you're getting under the shadow when you decide to know what God wants you to do. And you know, all the other stuff, you know, you prepare, you know, that, that you can see you know, on your mind and that God will be working on uh, all these uh, that great kind of problems and that all that stuff will matter to the Lord. All this stuff you and you begin to get under the shadow of the whole body when you find that secret place you can go, Lord, what is your will for my life? What is it at this time and in this season of my life that you have asked me to do? Hallelujah. And God has a way of speaking to us and so we have a burden to live a life in obedience to God's will. The psalmist said that he that dwells in the secret place, all the group that hide in that secret place, all the most high shall hide under the shadow of the Almighty. Now, like I said, it's a burden. Hallelujah, because you're going to have to find time. To get in that secret place, you don't have to find time to distance yourself from your friends and your family. But when you do that, you'll find that everything else will fall into place. Things will go smoothly in your life. It may not always go the way you expect it to go, but God has a way of working all things out for your good. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Now we're talking about. You know, and once we, 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 we accept and we embrace the burden of the presence, glory to God, then we can expect to experience the benefit of God's protection. Hallelujah. And we're willing to see a being under his shadow. The psalmist says, surely. He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of the pestilence. Glory to God, the snare, trap, trap. The enemy says trap. Amen. And he wants to capture us, catch us up in entrapments that come in our lives to take us away from the presence of God. But he said that I will deliver you. Some situations we can find ourselves entangled in, and nobody but God can deliver us out of them. The more we try to get out on our own, the more 
always find ourselves found, but God said to you, he heard my shout, glory to God. He said, I will deliver you to stay under the shadow, and you will experience the benefits of God's spirit. I don't know who it is. You know, whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you may be struggling in your life, there is nothing that God cannot give you from. Hallelujah. He said, when wicked people are set traps for you, when the evil set traps for you, it could be Hallelujah. Then he goes on to say, I will deliver you from the choice of testament. Now, the word testament is a Hebrew word that signifies to speak. Hallelujah. To speak out or to decree. Therefore, testament is a speaking thing. It proclaims the wrath of God upon the people. When the they call that means it's a thing that I can decree to know. It is not a thing to be taken back. The pestilence call, it, it doesn't spare the grape nor the spark. The noise of pestilence is infection and contagion. I'm going to say that again. The noise of pestilence is infectious and contagious. What does that remind you of to hear the voice of the festival? What infectious and contagious that we're dealing with right now? Y'all heard that, uh, that COVID-19, that coronavirus? Hallelujah. It's infectious and contagious, isn't it? And the only way we can escape the noise of the is to stay under the The only way to escape the glory of testament is to stay under the shadow of the Almighty. Glory to God. For God said, if you stay under my shadow, you can expect me to deliver you. You can expect me to protect you. So, hallelujah, if I'm doing it, I'm not under that shadow. I get under that shadow. And I stay under that shadow. Glory to God. Not only does God protect us, but God covers us. Hallelujah. He said, I will cover you with his, he, he shall cover you with his covering, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be your shield and love. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but I grew up in the country, and I know all about some of those farm animals, and there's one farm animal called the chicken. Glory to God and the chicken has no. Glory to God. You know, the chicken lays eggs. And when that chicken sits on that nest, it will hatch the eggs. I'm talking about that mother hen. That mother hen will sit on her eggs and, until they hatch. And when they hatch, they will hatch into little baby chicks. And, and the baby chicks will be protected. And the mother will take their wings, their feathers, and they will cover the chicks. Before the chicks even get here, the feathers are lying that neck to cover those eggs and protect those eggs, keep those eggs warm. And once they get here, those same feathers will protect those baby chicks. In other words, it's under God's wings that we can find our hiding place. I don't know if you've ever seen how the little chicks will bark, they will carry and get under the wings of the mother, and the mother will hide them, and the mother will scoop them along and keep them in as they come and as they go. Glory to God, they keep on and going at night. God will keep them from the storms of life. Under his wings, we can find healing, we can find protection, we can find the cover that we need when we abide in his presence. We have to abide in his truth. It says, in his truth, it shall be our shield and our love. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are strong to know the battlefield for the Lord. We need to have a shield and buckler in faith. And when we have an armor that protects us, 
is that truth, the truth of God's word. That means that we are abiding in his presence, but we're dwelling in the presence of God. That means that we are reading his word, that we are walking his word, that we are walking in his word, that we're living his word the best that we can, because all
even in the midst of the darkness. And the psalmist go on to say, Lord, the destruction that wastes that do that. We know that noon is the hardest part of the day. Hallelujah. And no matter how things heat up in our lives, we don't have to fear. We don't have to worry about the fact that the Lord is the earthquake. Oh God, we thank you that you are our God. We can hide under your shadow. And Lord God, we don't have to be afraid of the same viruses or any kind of calamity that may come our way. Those who find shelter under the wind of the Almighty, all oh, Lord has hidden in that secret place. Oh, he hides from the enemy that sit through us. Glory to God from all around us we see people falling apart. We can endure the pestilence. We can endure the storm. We can endure whatever it is that we're going through. Because we have the Almighty on our side. But we got to dwell there. That means that we cannot move away from Him. We cannot leave Him. We leave Him. We go out there and we expect ourselves to the enemy. But if we dwell in that secret place and we stay right there with him and we don't leave him but we stay in his shadow, that means we got to stay close to him. Stay close to Luther with him. Stay in close relationship with him. God is our refuge. God is our strength. He is a very present help in the time of trouble. Hallelujah. When we stay on his grace, the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the grace of God that we experience because Jesus shed his blood on Calvary. He shed his blood so that me and you, God, the whole world can have a right to the truth. We don't have to die hard that subject there, that we can live eternally. We have that security because of what here for us. I'm here to tell you today, if you don't know Jesus, you need to get to know him. Hallelujah. If you're struggling with anything in your life, turn it over to Jesus. Hallelujah. He'll work it out. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You don't have to go through anything that you may be going through alone. Because he said he would never leave us. He'll never forsake us. We might leave him. But if we stay with him, that's what I'm telling you today, church. We need to stay with us. Don't leave us. Hold to God's unchanging hand. Know that if you hold on to it, if you stay right there, if you trust him, if you have confidence in him, if you believe him, if you are never gone astray, then he will protect you. He will deliver you. He will cover you. He will keep you. He will demonstrate his love for you. He will never, never, never forsake you. When your mother and when your father have to leave your home, when they have to forsake you, when they have to tell you bye-bye, Jesus said, I'm right here with you. I'll forsake you. I'll never leave you. Just stay right there. Stay with him. Stay with him. Stay under the shadow of the Almighty, for He loves us. He cares about us. Hallelujah! All we gotta do is just trust Him. Trust Him. Never let go. Don't be afraid to experience the burden of God's presence. Stay in His presence. Don't get out the way, so you can enjoy the benefits. And the blessing of God's promise. His grace is for everybody that will receive it. And if you're out there today and you don't know Jesus, if I was you, I would give my life to Christ today. He's calling you. He's calling me. He's calling all of us to, to develop a closer walk with Him, to grow closer to Him in everything that we say and do. And no matter where we are in our walk with the Lord, we can draw a little bit closer. And if you don't know him, come to him. Acknowledge him as your Savior. Receive what he has to offer. Receive the grace of God. That unmerited love that God 
He already showed us how much he wants. All we got to do is just walk accept. Know that God loves you. And I thank God for you. Remember, stay on the shaft of the altar. God bless you and God keep you in this day. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord, what a powerful word. Praise the Lord. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise in the house. My, my, my God, a powerful word from the Lord today. Amen. Stand under the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. Thank God for the favor of the for that word uh, from the Lord this morning. Amen. God is just speaking into our lives. So I want to just remind us that God is blessing all of us in the midst of this virus. Just stay on under that chair. Be like the little, little chick, she said, that run under that hen wing and stay there. Amen. You ever been on the farm? It's amazing to see how they do that. And those chickens know how to run with that hen. And when she go to run, you see little tiny feet on the wing. You always see little tiny feet moving along with her. And they know how to keep pace with her. So you ought to know how to keep pace with your God. Amen. Praise be to the Lord. You want to just remind us on Monday. At 12 noon, we'll have our church family prayer. Also, uh, let's get on the line. Let's pray. We got some praying to do because folks still dying. Folks still getting sick. The virus is still spreading. And folks still acting stupid out there. So we got some more praying to do. Also, want to remind us in August, we will have two uh, food drops. The last food drop we had, we was able to uh, uh, feed uh, over 1,700 people. Amen. We're going to do two in August. That's going to be on August the 8th and August the 20th. On August the 8th and August the 20th, we're going to be doing those two food drops. So volunteers, let's get ready. Remind folks so folks can come out. Uh, we're doing just like we did it before in combination between us and God of Tabernacle, uh, CME Church, and uh, my Olive CME Church, uh, and, and a whole some other folk. And so let us come out and we work together to just uh, serve the kingdom of God. Again, thank you for just tuning in to our broadcast this morning. And know that God is blessing us in a major way. We're thankful for the blessedness of the Lord. Want everybody to have a wonderful day today and look for God to just do something good in your life. Amen. And so, as we, as we always say, just be into the blessing. Of the Lord, and know that God is with you. Give Him a little of your time. Do some fixing. Remember, God lives in Tampa. So we just thank you for the blessings of His presence. And, and as, as we come forth today, let us remember Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask that you just bless us. We come now to extend your blessing upon your people as we depart. From this service, and never let us depart from your people. We ask God that the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the sweet communion of your Holy Spirit, that you rest in us, that you find in us, and you lead us now and this forth and forevermore. In the name of Jesus. And now to him who's able to do exceedingly abundantly the above, all that we ask, all that we thank, and all that we imagine. Uh, and and he, he's doing it. say amen. God bless you now. I have a beautiful day in the Lord.